Paparazzi, paparazzi, promise I'll be kind, but I won't quit until you're mine. Take her round and down and tell me, Papa, paparazzi. Woo! <laughs> hey, Tibbies. How you like my new styling get up here? This is Bobby Wright in his witch mode. I got on my pentacle shirt today. I got on my mystical Ankh of Isis. And I'm styling in the latest hat from downtown Beijing. <laughs> Hey guys, well, ho happy Wednesday. Welcome to, to Wicked Wednesday. I have to tell you, I got a wonderful inspiration today. And uh, one of our friends here, our family members at Spirit Channel, her name is Jennifer Croxton. Hey, Jen, this is Bob sending shout out to you. Uh, I want to say thank you to Jen. Jen wrote me a wonderful little comment on yesterday's video. By the way, if you didn't see yesterday's video, uh, we had messages from the spirit world. I didn't get out till kind of late last night. So anyways, definitely go check it out. It's in the queue right before this video. But Jennifer put a little comment. She said she'd enjoyed that video. And she says, Psychic Bob, tomorrow for Wiccan Wednesday, can you talk to us about how to get ready for Samhain and Halloween? I said, yeah, that's a great, that's a great topic. So, you know, the next few weeks here up till Halloween, we're going to be having shows where I'm going to talk about Halloween. So we're going to have a few videos actually about this. But I thought today I'd come just talk to you about a little bit about getting ready for Halloween or Samhain. And I've been reading this wonderful book. This is a book I recommend you guys get. It's called The Pagan Book of Halloween, A Complete Guide to the Magic, A Guide to the Magic Invocations, Recipes, Spells, and Lore. This is by Jarena Dunwich. Um, she's one of my favorite Wiccan authors, but she wrote this book. It's an older book, uh, but you can still find it. I bought an old used library copy, but you can look on eBay and probably find it. I think it may still actually be in print. Um, but it's put out, I don't know if this Llewellyn puts this out or who puts this out. Hold on. This is by, uh, I can't see here. I gotta take off my sunglasses. <laughs> I can't see. Um, this book is put out by, I think it's Penguin, no, yeah, Penguin, Penguin Press, so it's Penguin Book, okay, the How, the Pagan Book of Halloween. I recommend it, I've been sitting here reading it, and they have a chapter in here called The Symbols of Halloween, and it got me kind of inspired for today's video, and um I won't read all this now. We'll go into a little more of this book in future videos. But basically she talks about Halloween, the very symbols, bats and cauldrons and brooms. And she talks about the color orange and black. And she talks about witches and how we always see witches at Halloween dressed in their black robes and their black hats. And that is certainly true. And it got me thinking about, you know, the whole concept of the witch hat. And... I love wearing the witch. I do. I wear it when I do rituals. I wear it outside of Halloween. But you know, Halloween right now is a great time to explore working and wearing the witch hat. Now, some of you are going to say, Bob, do witches really wear that? Yeah, they do. They do. But it's not an evil symbol. You know, Halloween makes it always evil. But this is my newest witch hat. And I got this one. It's actually in red. And it's got beautiful gold stars on it. Isn't that beautiful? It just It really sparkles like you're seeing on camera here. It's beautiful. Um, and I love the witch hat. Now, what's really cool is that in the olden days, back in the Victorian times, whenever they showed witches in like drawings or cartoons or pictures, um, they usually wore red hats. And nowadays, everybody sees them wearing black traditionally. But the actually, the, the old traditional colors is the witch is dressed in green and red. A lot of times they'd have a green cloak on or green robe and a red witch hat. And that comes from the old pagan traditions of red and green are the colors of life. It's the Lord energy, the lady, the verdant earth, the sun, you know, the sky and the evening sunset. So red was considered a, a sacred, and while it is still is a sacred pagan color, in fact, my shirt today has a red pentacle on it as you can see and that's very keeping with pagan mysticism but you know I so rarely see red witch hats and I thought my god you know that's really cool I saw this I bought it actually on eBay 
And I said, Red Witch Hat, that's for me. And here it arrived, and I love it. And I'm putting on, how do you like it? You think it suits me? Looks like Bob should wear a Red Witch Hat. I like it. Anyways, it got me thinking about the Witch Hat. A lot of people have been asking over the years about the Witch Hat. And I've actually talked about it before, but we have so many new people, and it's been a while. So the Witch Hat actually was a real witch clothing accessory. Um, back in the olden days, the pagans, and the word pagan means country dweller. It's before it took on that connotation of, uh, you know, a negative sense. You know, a lot of the Christians call people pagans as an insult. Uh, but really, pagans were just the people that lived out in the country. And most of the people in the old days, in the, you know, throughout Europe, Western Europe, lived in the country, followed the old religion. They were outside of the cities. And you have to remember, in those days, you know, fashion, uh, people were not fashion forward, as I should say, because... You know, there was no modern media. So in the cities, you know, where all the rich people lived in the in the village, the upscale city towns, um, that's where all fashion developed. And in the Middle Ages, women would oftentimes wear a, a coned hat. And sometimes they would attach veils to it. And so it became, you know, quite the upper class style. Well, eventually the style got out to the country. And even in the rural areas, women started wearing coned hats. Um, and that's where it kind of it first started. Well, what happened is as fashion moved on and the cone hat went out of style, the people that lived in the country still wore the coned hats, and they were considered backwards. They're like, that is like so three years ago, you know, but they didn't know. And so, you know, the coned hat was, that's one way that it started being worn. Now, men also wore coned hats, men that were wizards. And it was believed that the coned hat, well, it has a few different meanings. One is it represents the cone of power. If you know about traditional witchcraft, when they work in a couple and they go in a circle and they raise power and they send it out to the universe, and it's like literally a cone of power going out to the cosmos. And the brim around it represents the circle of witches gathering in the circle. Um, so this is really what the hat means. It represents the cone of power and the gathering of the circle. Now, also, in the, during the times of the Inquisition, uh, the Catholic Church would make people parade through the streets that were accused of witchcraft. And they would put caps, conical caps on them to identify them as sinners, as those who were in alliance with the devil. And so it became a cap of shame also because it's like you got put out on the street with the cone hat. That meant you were, you know, not following the church. But the witches, you know, rather than letting that humiliate them, claimed it really as a symbol of power. They're like, yes, we stand in defiance of the church. We stand in defiance of that evil control system. And so, you know, the, the witches today wear their, their cone hats as a sign of defiance against traditional religion that might rule them and try to dominate them. And also as a reminder that we share in the mystical circle and the cone of power. So actually a witch hat, you know, a lot of people think it's just a fun little costume, thing, but actually there's a really sacred meaning behind it. So I got this red hat because how often do you see red hats anymore? Pretty rare, but I'm enjoying it. So I thought I would show you here some of my other witch hats. Because, you know, I'm crazy about the witch. I've been collecting them. By the way, for guys that are watching, yes, men can also wear the witch hat. Um, a lot of times the wizard's hats have smaller brims. But really, it's unisex. If you think about cowboy hats, you know, my dad used to wear Stetsons. They had big, broad brims. So men can wear hats with broad brims. Like, you think that's like a Stetson hat, right? So you can wear the witch hat. Men can wear it or women. It's unisex, okay? But I thought I'd chase some of my uh, some of my hats here. So um, I can't find my black one. Actually, I'm <laughs> gonna buy a new black one. I think I've lost it somewhere. Uh, but I'm always moving stuff around my house. But I did have a solid black one, which is the traditional. But y'all have already seen that. But here's another take on the black witch hat. This one is done in black lace, black netting and it's see-through. This is a really great alternative to the solid black, um, especially if you're in a warmer climate, because this hat, it's a little bit like the Amish prayer caps that are made of lace. 
it allows air to move and your hair to have to breathe. Because if you've ever been in circle wearing a witch hat and you're really dancing or going through the ritual, you can get really warm in one of these hats. They're, they're actually pretty warm. They hold heat because of the shape. And uh, if you want to be a little cooler, the netting, the, the fine mesh net hats are great. I call them Wiccan prayer caps <laughs> after the Amish because the Amish have hats. They're not like witch hats, but they're made of similar material. Uh, so you can get your Wiccan prayer cap. And uh, this one's cool because it's done in black and it's got silver imagery on it. Can you guys see it's got witches and pumpkins? Uh, really kind of cool. So there's a witch flying on a broom. There's a pumpkin. Um, it's got some bats on it. Here's another witch up at the top flying on her broom. It's hard to see her. We got some glare. But as you can see, it's it's got symbols. And all around the brim, as you can see, it's got the symbols too. There's the pumpkin. Anyways, I recommend you guys. You, know, you might want to explore the, the mesh, mesh hats. I think they're called like mesh witch hats or lace witch hats. Kind of a nice option for a warmer climate. Because I know we've had some Samhain's and Halloween's here that have been very warm, and I've used this one. Now, we also have, um, you know, speaking of colors, I'm really into these colored hats. I've got a beautiful blue one as well, which is similar to my red one, but it's done in blue, and it's got stars on it. Isn't that beautiful? Now, what's really cool about this is, I didn't notice it until I really looked at it after I bought it. But it's got three different types of stars, and they're all magical stars. Okay, one of the stars that you'll see here, the big star, is actually the Star of David, the six-pointed star. Now, I've talked about that before. Can you see that there? It's, let me see if I can get it right. Right there. That's the six-pointed star. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the Star of David. That's a magical symbol. It's often used, called the hexagram, and used in magic spells. We also have the five point star, which is the traditional Wiccan star right there, the pentagram. And then they've got an eight pointed star up here. I think they were actually going for a seven point star, but they end up with eight. But it's kind of cool because it looks like the fairy star. And seven or eight, it looks very much like the fae star. And, and then it's got little sparkles like the outer space, the cosmos. So this is a wonderful hat as well. In fact, I'll put this on so you can see it. Uh, this is a wonderful color. You know, blue is a magical color. It's a protective color. So you might want to explore blue witch hats if you like the color blue. Isn't that fun? Yeah. So there you go. So we've got red witch hats. we got black witch hats. we got blue witch hats. And, of course, you all have seen this one, my purple witch hat. Now, you know, as the member... As the, the high priest of the Order of the Purple Cord, um, I often wear purple a lot. So this is my purple witch hat. This one has spider webs on it, which I don't really like spiders, but I kind of like it made my peace with the spider kingdom, so I can wear this now. And so I oftentimes wear this when I'm doing purple cord stuff. Oops, my point's falling down. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I need to put some starch on it. But uh, so, you know, purple is also a traditional witch color. Uh, purple was considered a, a rare and royal color, a very exotic color. And not many people have purple, so purple always stood out. And a lot of witches loved purple because it's kind of an in-between color. It's the power of red, which is life force. It's the power of blue, which is like protection as well. And both red and blue are sacred and protective colors. So purple is really a combination of red and blue. And uh, so that, therefore, you know, colors in the old days, colors that were a blend of colors were considered magical because it wasn't just a, you know, standard color. It had to magically be created. So there you go. So we got purple. So I want to share with you, you know, some of my witch hats here because I think that they're a lot of fun. And, you know, now that we're at the Halloween season, you can actually go out and find these. I would encourage you to go online, go on eBay, uh, look them up. I also have another witch hat coming, which I don't have yet, which is a white witch hat. And you rarely see these in white. So I have a white one coming, which I'll have to you in the, probably the next video. We'll show you the white one. Uh, hopefully it'll be here. But for today, I'm wearing my red witch hat. And I am just being styling. Ooh. Papa, paparazzi. Ooh, am I high fashion or what? Ooh, girl. <laughs> 
Anyways, guys, I hope wherever you are, you're having a wonderful Wednesday. And, you know, keep it here. We're going to be talking more about Halloween. Next week, we're going to talk about the Halloween altar, how to do some magic. How we got some spells in here. We're going to talk about that next Wednesday when I have all my stuff ready for that. So make sure to be here for next Wednesday for Wiccan Wednesday as well, okay? But we're going to be doing a few videos before we get to Halloween. Um, we may change up our schedule a little bit to get in some special Halloween videos. So, but I hope you'll keep it here at Spirit Channel. You know, tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Uh, Wednesday, so it's Thursday. Tomorrow's Vlog Thursday. So we're going to go out and go somewhere fun. I don't know what we're going to do, but we'll have an adventure. So make sure to be here for that, you know. I don't know if I'm brave enough to go to CVS. But if I put on my witch hat, maybe I should wear my witch hat into CVS and if that creates some drama. <laughs> That'll freak them out. Now look, I'm going to say, don't let me, don't make me flip my witch switch now. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you'll, you'll keep it here. But I want to come here to share with you about the magical witch hat and encourage you, you know, at this Halloween time, get out and try it. You know, maybe you'll like it. Maybe you've never worn a witch hat. And then you always said, oh, that wasn't real. Well, the witches really do wear them and have worn them. So there is real legitimate history behind the witch hat. It's not just something created by Hallmark. But anyways, listen, tell me in the box below, do you have a favorite witch hat? Have you, one, have you ever worn a witch hat? Uh, and two, what type of witch hat do you like? Do you wear a colored hat? Do you wear a black hat? Have you ever worn a white witch hat? Tell me any of your experiences with the witch hat and, uh, you know, what that means to you and if you've ever explored it. Or maybe you're just new to it and you're curious about it. Maybe you want to ask me a question about a color of a witch hat that you've seen. You know, let's have a discussion. You ask me anything about that we can talk about that. Well, guys, listen, keep it here at Spirit Child. I love you guys. You are the best. And I want to say thank you again to all of you who came into yesterday's video. I got it out late, as I said, for messages from the spirit world. But I hope you'll definitely check that out if you haven't seen it. As I said, it's in the queue right before this one. And if you get a chance and you got some time today, pop over to my website at robert-hickman.com. I'll put the link in the info box below. And, you know, pick up my, pick up my books. I got messages from Rose over there which is about my work as a psychic medium. And we've got, this is a wonderful, especially at Halloween time, Psychic Bob's Book of Wiccan Wisdom. And there are a lot of wonderful witch pictures in here, and I've done all the artwork in this book. So you might wanna, you might wanna check it out, okay? So those books are over at my website, and I hope you'll, you'll check them out, and a few others over there as well. So go to robert-hickman.com. The link will be in the box below. We'll see you back here tomorrow for Vlog Thursday. And until then, Saggy Bob's just going to wear his witch hat, put on his shades, and sing me some Lady Gaga. Ooh, Papa, Papa Ratsy. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Love you guys.